Got a cheerleader from his hometown of Kingston, New York, Uncle Willie, to lead him into the ring. And now Arguello, who uh, was taking his time leaving his dressing room, is now on his way in and uh, is getting the response from the crowd that we expected and exactly the response that Billy Costello expected. Arguello will be the crowd favorite here. The former three-time world champion out for two years after the devastating losses to Aaron Pryor, a two-year bout that uh, cost him a bout with uh, the drugs, among other things, and lost all of his uh, financial wherewithal and is uh, literally starting over again in terms of his financial career as a boxer at age 33. Alexis Arguello in the ring, scoring here in Nevada. will be on the 10-point bus system and will be done by three judges at ringside. Dave Moretti from Las Vegas, Doug Tucker, and Keith McDonald from Reno. And uh, the combatants have finally assembled in the ring here after a somewhat controversial couple of hours in the pre-fight time here at the Lawler Event Center in Reno. We are live, Tim Ryan, with Gil Clancy. There is the former WBC super lightweight champ, Bill Costello. And let's go to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lawler Event Center in Reno, Nevada. Our main event this afternoon is a 10-round junior welterweight bout. Our referee is Mills Lane. In the red corner from Kingston, New York, weighing in at 144 pounds, with a record of 31 wins, only one loss, 18 wins by way of knockout. The former super lightweight boxing champion of the world, Bill Costello. And his opponent in the blue corner from Manawa, Nicaragua, weighing in 143 pounds, a record of 79 wins, only six losses, 64 wins by way of knockout. Here's the former three-time world champion, Alexis Arguello. Alexis Arguello and Billy Costello. And if you talk about a crossroads fight, uh, this has to be it for these two young men, old in terms of boxing age. We must uh, point out that Costello is approaching 30, so he's not exactly a youngster. He didn't start his pro career until he was 19, but uh, actually his boxing career is an amateur when he was 19. Arguello, of course, uh, uh, at age 33, you have to wonder about his physical condition and stamina, how he'll hold up. He has looked in superior condition during his training. And there is the tale of the tape. Tim, the thing you have to thing you have to realize is Aguayo's been fighting for 16 years. Costello weighing in at 144 and Costello, I'm sorry, Costello at 144 and Arguello at 143 and we're underway in round number one. Bill's laying the referee. Arguello in the dark blue trunks and Costello in white. Well, Tim, so there goes Costello. That's what he's going to have to do. He's going to have to press Arguello and make a wall out of it, Tim. Can't let Arguello get set. Arguello style, familiar. Stocking, classic, straight-up boxing style. Costello showed a good boxing technique in his win over Ronnie Shields, defending his crown for the first time but uh, known prior to that primarily as a slugger, club fighter style, come out and brawl with you, and it worked for him. He was undefeated until he lost to Lonnie Smith. But Tim, so far, Costello is fighting the kind of fighter I didn't expect out of him. He's doing the backing up, and he's doing the circling. Smith with two left hooks. Well, Aguayo's reflexes, something uh, that has been under discussion, showing well there as he forced Costello to miss, and Costello misses with a right hand down the pipe. Tim, he just missed that right hand. Talking to Eddie Futch about Alexis Arguello's 
defense in the Pat Jefferson fight. He says if he does as well against Costello, he should win handily. But of course, Jefferson is not Bill Costello. Jefferson, the man he beat in his Cost comeback fight. Costello was already hit Aguilar with more punches than Jefferson did in the entire fight. But so far, no telling impact. I'm waiting for the first time that Arguello hits Costello with a good shot on the chin. Let's see how he takes it after the Lonnie Smith thing. Under a minute to go in round number one. This is scheduled for 10. 143-pound weight limit was agreed upon by both camps. Good exchange there. And a good left to the ear by Arguello. Good combination by Costello scores. And Arguello missing with... Now lands a left hook as Costello backed away. That stunned him. Under the 30-second mark, we go in round one. Left to the ear from Costello. He's, he's allowing Aguilio to get set, though, Tim. That could be dangerous. And again, Costello missing as Arguello ducked under him. We're in the final seconds of round one. Good body shot by Costello. This is round number two. Bill Costello in white, Alexis Arguello in blue. And it looked like they had, had uh, worked uh, over the right eye of Alexis Arguello somewhat. We did not see a cut there. It may have just been a little swelling. We'll try and get a closer look at it here in, during round two. Right hand by Arguello. Tim Costello has landed some solid punches in round one, and Aguayo is starting to show the effects of it. Aguayo keeps coming straight ahead. Costello is obviously the faster of the two, Tim. He has faster hands. Aguayo is going to have to land the big punch to win this fight. Solid left jab by Aguayo. Got Costello's attention. Costello with a right-hand counter miss. So the pattern so far, Arguello the stalker, Costello the counterpuncher. And there's a good left by Costello. Right-hand lead landed by Arguello. Good combination by Costello. I like the way Costello lashes back when he gets hit or even slips a punch and misses, Tim. He's, he's really charged up for this fight. Billy Costello, who actually retired after losing his title to Lonnie Smith. The retirement lasted six days. He said he was embarrassed by the loss. Wants the title back. Lonnie Smith may have something to say about that, of course. He is the champion, and he's fighting Rennie Arredondo in a couple of weeks. Good left hand landed by Costello. He's still allowing Aguayo to get set, Tim. I think he can push those old legs back right, right about now. Right hand lead just missed. Under a minute to go. Round two. 33-year-old Alexis Arguello. Certainly as fine-tuned as any 33-year-old man can be, but a little slower is to be expected. Both hand speed. Movement we'll see. Solid shot landed by Casella. Another one. A right hand lead. Aguayo's reflexes don't look to be there, Tim. That was the big question mark in the fight. He got away with him against uh, young Pat Jefferson in his comeback fight. Five-round knockout by Arguello. But as we said, of course, this is a former world champion, Billy Costello. Good body shots by Arguello. Under the 30-second mark. Good right hand over the top by Arguello. And Costello is breathing heavily already, Tim. Final seconds of round number two. Grueling two rounds. Round number three live from the Lawler Event Center in Reno, Nevada. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy watching two former champions. Alexis Arguello in blue, Costello in white. Remember, uh, prior to the fight, a dispute over the hand wrapping on Alexis Arguello. At one point, he threatened to not go through with the fight, was talked into continuing by his second, Don Kahn. And you have to wonder about all of the effects of the 
the mental warfare that's been going on. Tim, any time Costello wants to hit Aguayo, he can hit him. If he just keeps moving his hands, it's no contest. Aguayo continuing to stalk, and Costello looking a little more relaxed as the fight progresses. We're in the third round. Costello has said, if I can't beat this old man, I should retire. Alexis Arguello uh, speaking with equal confidence. That's a, that's a mistake that Costello, Costello makes. He just waits on the ropes. He doesn't have to do that. He can back this Arguello. There's a good left hook by Costello. Costello bringing it up from underneath and now banging to the body of Arguello. That will certainly test the physical conditioning of Alexis Arguello and Arguello scoring, but without the same snap that Costello had. Arguello was also punching very, very wide, Tim. Victor Valley is yelling for Costello to punch in between, and that's exactly what he's doing, throwing nice short punches inside. Arguello moving a little more slowly, still doing the stocking in his inimitable style. But with less conviction, it appears to me, in round three. Under a minute to go. Again, Tim, I, I think Aguayo has to land the one big punch. I don't think he can outpoint Costello. No, there's no way he can outpoint this kid. Aguayo is too fast. Costello is too fast, I should say, Tim. Hands are faster. Reflexes are faster. Aguayo, when he is landing, doesn't seem to have much sting on his punches. And Arguello with his mouth opening a little bit more. Under the 30-second mark we go. They've set a grueling beautiful, pace. Beautiful right hand over the jab by Costello. Tim. Fighting a very, very smart fight. Good left again by Costello as we are in the final seconds of the third round. Scheduled for 10. Tim, anytime Costello wants it, he can land his punches. Four, scheduled for 10 live from Reno. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy watching Billy Costello in white, who, as we look at our cards, has a comfortable lead over Alexis Arguello through the first three rounds. Tim, at the end of the round, Costello went back to the corner like he was walking uphill very, very slowly and seemed to be very tired. Well, it looked like Arguello was tired, so we'll find out how the stamina holds up. I said Costello, I meant Aguilio went back to the yeah. corner. Yes, he did. He was walking up to the Costello, counter-punching out of the corner. Good body shot by Arguello. Well, again, he should not stay on the ropes. That's the only time Aguilio can get set to throw the big punch. But does he have the big punch is my question, Mark. Oh, there it is. Lightning Lonnie Smith before they stopped it in the eighth. He got nailed and he's hurt badly, Tim. Badly Alexis hurt. Arguello in round four. Well, we trying to finish him. We mentioned that Arguello had to land the big punch and he did. Costello trying to survive over there, wobbly legged, punching back. But Arguello keeping up the pressure and they stopped it in round four. Mills Lane steps in and Alexis Arguello with a fourth round stoppage of Billy Costello. A stunning turn of events. And Alexis Arguello at 33 years of age will continue his comeback, his dreams of winning a fourth world championship, and most importantly, a chance to get back on his feet financially. For Alexis Arguello, a dramatic victory as it appeared that Billy Costello had all the best of it for the first three rounds. But one big punch by Alexis Arguello turned it around. Tim, I mentioned that the only way Arguello could win was with the big punch, and here we'll see it again. Well, have a look at that. Now, I was just questioning Arguello's power, and watch this. 
Yes, Aguayo was stalking him as he did through the entire fight, and there he nails him. They both threw right hands, and Aguayo beat him to the punch. And when you get hit like that, Tim, it's tough to come back. There it is again, both throwing right hands. Classic, Aguayo nailed him. classic right hand punch that we have seen over 20 years from Alexis Arguello, and it was enough as Mills Lane then stopped the fight moments later. So, we'll be back here from Reno, Nevada, but still to come on our CBS Sports Sunday, you'll see world indoor record holder Eamon Coughlin in the men's mile. You'll also see Billy Olson's record pole vault. And that's all from the U.S. Olympic Invitational Track and Field Meet. And we'll be back here in Reno to talk to the winner here in just a moment at the Lawler Event Center. Stay with us on CBS Sports Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. One minute, 42 seconds in round number four. Referee stopping the bout. And the winner, by way of knockout, the great Alexi Sarguello. Alexis? Alexis? All right. Alexis, okay, okay, okay. Bill, let's go here. Alexis Arguello, a dramatic, dramatic win for you. I know you must feel wonderful. I, I felt, and Gil Clancy did, that Costello had the best of you through the first three rounds. Were you confident that your moment would come to throw that famous right hand? Well, I think what happened in the, in the dressing room was what uh, upset me so much from the beginning. But then in the third round, I started getting loose because my angriness came off me, you know. And I think that those things it shouldn't happen because it really is against athlete's principle, those things, because I do something this will never, no, no, never gonna hurt anybody because I'm, I'm well aware what could happen if I put some extreme thing in my hand. So but you, you felt that your hand wraps were fair and legal? Yes, sir. I've been fighting for 18 years, and I'm, I have never been questioned about my bandage because I know what I, what I do because I've been bandaging my hand for over 15 years. Well, all right. Let's bring in Billy Costello. Billy, first of all, we're we're glad that you're uh, up and all right and you look good and you. Your eyes uh, are clear and so on. So obviously you weren't badly hurt, but that was a big right hand came from nowhere. Yeah, he caught, I really did with a right hand. He countered the right hand, caught with a right hand. Good punch. Billy, you're a great fighter. Great it, fighter. It, it, we had, had a great job. Costello was doing a great there, job moving. And, uh, you know, that right hand I never wasn't expecting, but I saw the opening and I conquered it. We had you ahead through the first three rounds, Billy. You looked like you got more comfortable as it was going on until that one punch. Yeah, he caught me. I lead with a right hand, like I said. And, he countered me with his right hand. Um, no bad feelings. A good fighter. Great fighter. It was. It was a great show on CBS because really, Billy went the go all the way like a man. That's the way every athlete should be. Every boxer should perform in front of the camera because we have a live audience that we have to take care of them. Well, all right. We congratulate both you former champions. Uh, hopefully, both still on your comeback trail. You're not thinking about going away, are you, Billy? Well, I haven't thought about it. All right. I say you can do better than that. All right. All right. Congratulations, boys. Remember, we are going to have more from the Olympic Invitational Track Meet coming up. John Tesh and company have lots more track meet excitement ahead for you. So stay with us on CBS Sports Sunday. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 